On the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Chairman of Israel's Gazette Globe, Mr. Kasman, glad to have you here with us today on the floor. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Tell us a little more about Gazette Globe and its recent listing on the New York Stock Exchange. Well, Gazette is a global real estate uh, owner and developer of shopping centers uh, in 20 different countries in the world. We own uh, about 60, 600 shopping centers with about uh, 80 million square feet of uh, GLA or gross decibel area uh, with a total value of somewhere around $19 billion. Gazi Globe is listed on Tel Aviv Stock Exchange and why did you choose to also list on the New York Stock Exchange? Well, in recent years we became more and more global. I mean, we are now present in 20 different countries in the world and we felt that being a global company also would necessitate us to present ourselves and introduce ourselves to much deeper audiences of investors and we're better than New York Stock Exchange. As a global real estate platform, how do you view the current global real estate market? Well, it depends and it varies from one country to another. I think that the U.S. is clearly in recovery. Uh, Europe, Europe, certain parts of Europe, of course, are suffering with, every, with everything else that's going in Europe. But that would not be true for the Nordic region, for instance, or in my view for countries like Poland who are doing very well. Of course, places like Brazil are doing extremely well. Canada stable has been stable for a long time, and uh, there's no reason why it should change anytime soon. So, I mean, the, the total global picture is somewhat mixed, but I think uh, there is hope, and I believe that you're going to see slow recovery in, in the, even in the hot heat areas like, uh, like some European countries. Which regions do you expect Gaza to focus on in the next three to five years? Well, as we said uh, before, we are very bullish on Brazil and Brazil definitely going to be a place we're going to focus on and we're going to keep on focusing on our traditional markets the US, Canada and uh, the European markets of course. Any advice on companies who uh, international companies that look to list in the US markets? Well I believe that uh, the US is the, and the New York Stock Exchange is the best and deepest market and I think it's uh, also for us it's an honor to be listed in on this market and I think it gives you the exposure you really want and, and, and a platform to carry on your message to, to investors uh, all over the world actually.